so in this video we will discuss about the oxidation number of oxygen of oxygen in compound then we will also discuss about the oxidation number of the hydrogen in the compound okay so first we are having the normal oxide compound normal oxide compound okay usually oxygen is having minus 2 oxidation number so this is the normal oxide compound second we are having the peroxide peroxide compound peroxide means the half of the oxidation number of the oxygen which means minus 1 and third we are having the super oxide compound which means the less than the peroxide which means the half of the peroxide which is minus 1 upon 2 which means half so first of all we are discussing about the normal oxides okay so normal oxide is having the little bit you can say that the little bit oxygen con means less oxidation okay and this is these are having the with two metal and one oxygen which means the concentration of the oxygen is less here for example potassium potassium k2o potassium potassium and oxygen as you guys all know in the in the outer shell of the potassium we are having one electron here also one electron which means one electron will share by oxygen here one electron by shell share by the oxygen one electron from here one electron from here which means they have lost electron and it has gained two electron okay in second example you can take the, the sodium sodium in the outer shell of sodium you are having one electron here also one it will share which means the oxygen has gained two electron okay so now let's take the example of the peroxide compound which means that they will be having the little bit the concentration of the oxygen but more than the normal for example we are, will be having the we will be having one metal one metal with one metal with two oxygen one metal with two oxygen which means here one metal two oxygen here the two metal one oxygen which means concentration of oxygen low here the concentration of oxygen is little bit high so as you guys all know the like the electron if we talk about so that is the in the outer shell of the sodium we are having one electron and here also one electron which means that for example in the outer shell of the let's see about the oxygen so they are having one need of the electron okay so here it will share with this it will share with this okay which means sodium will give one electron to oxygen one electron to oxygen which means one electron from this side one electron from this side but one more oxygen they both want so they will do what they will be share with each other they will share with each other so oxygen to oxygen this there is the sharing which means that the oxygen oxidation number is not developing by the sharing but one electron they are gained by the sodium okay so here you can see that oxygen is basically not participating in gaining or losing because there is the sharing so we cannot write the oxidation number to this so third we are having so that's why we are writing that is a peroxide which means minus one minus one here minus one here but here it has gained the two electron so here minus two here they have gained only one electron that's why we are writing minus one if you talk about third one super oxide so super oxide is having the more and more concentration of the oxygen how let's see for example i'm having the potassium and having the two oxygen potassium is having the one electron in the outer shell which means that half electron will share by this oxygen and half will move to this which means minus one upon two minus one upon two but in the real it, it's not like that but we are giving the example okay so which means they here we are having the two oxygen but one metal and here the one next 
electron is basically divided so that's why here we are having the less concentration of the oxygen here we are having a little bit more and here we are having more than concentration from the peroxide and normal so this was oxidation number of the oxygen in the compound next we are having the oxidation number of hydrogen so hydrogen basically divided into hydrogen positive hydrogen negative hydrogen positive which means this is in the covalent compound okay which means non metal are basically with the hydrogen which means they will be having positive side here the metal will be add by the uh, hydrogen which means it will be having negative sign which means that for example chlorine and hydrogen so it will be having positive one why chlorine has get one electron of from the hydrogen because chlorine will get the electron as you guys all know hydrogen is having the less electron negativity among all the periodic table so with non metal if it's combining which means that the hydrogen will lost the electron and with metal it's combining which means that metal is having the less electron negativity than hydrogen which means hydrogen will gain the electron for example this minus sign is developed which means so from sodium they have gained one electron for example calcium so it has gained two electron for example aluminum three so which means it has gained three electron from the aluminum so if it's metal it will gain and with non metal it will loss because chlorine is having the more electronegativity which means non metal is having more electronegativity than hydrogen and in metal they are having less electronegativity than the hydrogen so this is the condition in the num oxidation number of the here for example this is here so this is what this is the hydrogen proton this is hydride and this is hydrogen atom so that we are discussing for example oxide is there which means minus 2 if word oxide is there for example sulfide oxide phosphide which means minus sign will be there for example oxide is there which means minus 2 if sulfide is there which means minus 2 if phosphide is there which means minus 3 so the id will tell tell about the minus sign so here we are having the covalent compound and here will be having the ionic ionic compound okay so this both are binary compound which means that they are adding with the hydrogen so this was about the oxidation number of hydrogen and oxidation number of oxygen in the compound